In this paper, growth and common prosperity in China, we develop a site of decomposition method that allows us to evaluate common prosperity in China. And in this paper, we adopt a shared prosperity concept by World Bank, where they emphasize the welfare of the lowest 40% of the population. I.e., when they look at overall poverty and uh, welfare, they do not look at the overall population, but focus on the lowest 40% of the population. So if the welfare of those 40% of the population improved, we argue that the welfare of the overall population, or the measure of the common prosperity, would improve. And that is what we uh, adapt in terms of methodology. I mean, of course, uh, with this measure, it's a very rough, broad measure. And in our follow-up working papers, we have two working papers. We actually give a very detailed definition of common prosperity, where we develop a specific index for common prosperity. And we will apply this common prosperity measure onto a group of nations worldwide. Uh, so that's one working paper. In another working paper, we evaluate using that indices on uh, Chinese development. But here in this paper, we use the World Bank concept of shared prosperity, where we measure the social welfare of the lowest 40% of the population. And now in this uh, paper, we find that there are couple of things uh, we need to pay attention to when it comes to social policy. And the first is that for the lowest 5 to 10 percent of the population, for example, those people are disabled or elderly or for some reason lost uh, an ability to work, social welfare programs or social subsidies will be crucial for those 5 to 10 percent of people. And now, the next 30 to 40 percent of the population will rely on the improvement of the labor market. For example, because their income largely relies on labor market conditions. For example, if labor market conditions improve, their labor income will be higher because they rely on mainly labor incomes. We did a decomposition to the Chinese labor market, and we found that, uh, roughly speaking, the improvement of this lowest 30 to 40 percent of population relies on working more and longer hours rather than productivity. And we can see that there were some improvement in labor productivity, but the increase of their labor income is mainly due to longer working hours. That is, at the moment, uh, especially when the Chinese uh, surplus labor is shrinking, what we need to improve is to improve the productivity of all these workers. For example, in the Chinese labor market, the returns to education has been very low, and this is in comparison to other countries. And to overcome this, we should not only emphasize on education, on education duration and education quality, but we should also emphasize on the demand side for human capital. For example, we should have a better business environment, and we should have larger number of enterprises on the higher end of the economy so that they can demand for human capital. And when they have higher demand for human capital, of course, the wage will improve and as a result, the labor productivity will also improve. 